We talked about Lightmatica for perimeters, but now let's talk about Lightmatica for Lightmatics. This tip is using the Lightmatica mod, which you will need to get from Massidy's profile. I will once again put a link down in the description to that. But its main purpose is so that you can take schematics of things. And you can do things like sharing that schematic file with other people online. You can use it in your survival world to have a template to build. Or it comes in really handy for things like iterative design for making a design and then taking a schematic of it and then being able to save that and come back to it later. So unlike world edit where that copy paste has to be within the same world, uh, the schematics can go across worlds so you can do it on a single player creative and then move over to a multiplayer creative. So we're gonna do just a real brief intro to Lightmatica. Again, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do in this. This is just gonna be the basics. Mesa has provided us a really great tool for being able to take schematics, which is a block by block representation. You can see I've got mine set to be a little bit see through because these blocks don't actually exist. It's just rendering on screen. It's not in the world. And we can use this to take schematics that we've gotten either from other worlds or from friends or online resources. And we can see right here, I'm in tool mode, paste schematic in world. And now when I do my execute hotkey, it's going to paste in those blocks for me exactly as they were in the schematic. And now I can, you know, those blocks are there. I can interact with them. I can start building, start changing, anything like that. When you have finished designing something in creative, you can then bring the schematic into survival mode and get yourself a, a schematic view of what you need to put and where. And then it can also show you when things are in the wrong state. So see here, we have this repeaters in the wrong state and boom, now it's in the right state. And we can also use it when we're done building by using the verifier. So I'm going to press M, my schematic placements, find my placement, configure, and then come down here to schematic verifier, start verification. And then I can find out where I went off in the build or blocks that I may have missed. So here we have an extra sand block. I'm gonna highlight that. And here we're, we're missing a lime concrete block. So I'm also gonna highlight that. Once I exit out, now we're gonna see it's gonna render through those blocks and show me where those are so I can go find those. And say, okay, there's the extra sand block. Now we're good. And where am I missing my lime concrete? Right there. Now we're good. And then, like I said, you can save whatever you want and share that as a schematic or use it across worlds. So in order to save a schematic, we're going to get our Lightmatica tool by default as a stick. I'm going to open up the Lightmatica menu. I'm going to make sure I'm in area selection mode normal. I'm going to come to the browser. I'm going to do new selection. Give your area selection a name and click OK. Then we want to make sure that we are in tool mode area selection. And there's a couple ways we can select the area we want. First, I'm going to right click somewhere inside the world. You can see that's going to start this box right here. And then I'm going to left click around to include areas, including that center point. So as I left click, it's going to move around the edges of those area to select everything that I need. And I have that whole area selection. The other thing you can do is this is a great shortcut that Massa showed me. If you have a build that you've done in a flat world that is floating or another world that's floating that's not touching other blocks, first thing you'll need to do is come into your config menu in Lightmatica, go to hotkeys and find selection grow, and then give that a hotkey. In my case, I'm doing alt G. So I'll right click anywhere inside that area that I want to select. Then I'll press alt G. And we're going to see it's selected everything that's touching inside that area. So if you do something that is touching the ground, like this, for example, here, this column, click there, Alt-G. It's going to select the entire area that's visible. So it needs to be a floating structure to be able to do the Alt-G. Now, once you have your area selected, you can go back into your Lightmatica menu, Area Selection Browser, find the selection that you made. So here we have Farm Build. I'm going to click Configure, and then I can Save Schematic. And then I can save that anywhere I want within my folders. So I'm just going to put it here in the root folder, the schematics, farm build, save schematic, schematic saved. Now I can go over to another world, another area, uh, go over to the survival, whatever I want to do. I can do M, load schematics, find my schematic, click load. It's going to create a placement for it. You can also move these around by going into M schematic placements, find your placement that you have and click configure. And then you can move it around this way using these tools. Or you can go into tool mode schematic placement, get out your Lightmatica tool, and you can right click on blocks to move this schematic over to that place. So that's just a brief rundown of the Lightmatica options. Definitely check that out. Link will be down in the video description for where you can get that mod. And there are so many more things you can do with this. This is just kind of a brief crash course. But I hope that helped. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye.